Hey John here again. So I just turned that valve on manually. I got a problem with the irrigation. Now I have a feeling I know what it is, but then again I don't know what it is. <laughs> Look. No sprinkler head. So obviously something's broke. And I don't know how many sprinkler heads are on this uh, this piece of the lawn, which I don't really care about, but obviously it's just crap, but I do have to get this licked. Uh, so it's just bubbling up, and I don't know where to start. And I don't know how, how many heads there are. There's obviously two here, so I have to look around and see where this is bubbling. But here's what I do know. This uh, cable came from uh, the road out there. And, uh, well, it comes up on a, a pole. I just had a new cable installed, uh, fiber optics. So I do know they cut through here. I wasn't here at the time, but I saw at the time there was a trail going up towards the house there for uh, running a line. So I'm assuming they cut it somewhere. So I got to look around here because I'm not just going to start digging randomly. I got to find out. Well, that looks like a old remnants of a. I don't know. I'll have to look more close. I don't know why they come over here, but anyways, I know where they come into the house. So today, well, that looks like a pretty massive leak there. So it's basically there's the water's the inch line cut somewhere and I don't know where to start because I think at least I thought there was sprinkler heads over here. Well anyways I'm gonna look around and see where any more puddles are, but here's where this line came in. That fiber optic line goes through here somewhere. So today I'm gonna to, uh, wow well, there's a hole right there. It doesn't look like a sprinkler hole. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Like I said, let me go get some tools. I have to figure this mess out. See where I'm at, see what kind of repair I gotta do. I'm not gonna call the cable company because uh, who knows who. You know, there was a bunch of uh, people out here, the gas company comes out and finds their line and the regular water company, the copper line, I remember seeing, you know, paint on the gra grass because they had to figure out where stuff was before they dug, but Apparently they don't care about <laughs> irrigation, uh, so let me get some tools. Alright, so the best that I can tell from the looks of things, I mapped out where where they took a ditch witch through and uh, ran a new line. Now, again, there's a hole there, and uh, I found these, you can, if you look really close, I mean the grass is trying to grow here, but about a month ago when they put this in, this is uh, like... I don't know if you can see that kind of tracks there. So, so I followed that little slit in the grass or lawn or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to start where it's puddling. It was puddling here. I mean, it does look like uh, perhaps I got two leaks. Maybe they hit the uh, one inch line twice. I don't know. I can't find any sprinkler heads. I'm not sure where to locate, but it, you know, there's a hole there. So I guess I'll start right there. Um, Chances are there's probably a nick in the line because it looks like this is a root right here. So they probably, right here, they probably went to that side. It's the reason why this is all dirt. I mean, besides it puddling up, it's got to be got to be a good place where to start. So that's where I'm going to start, and then I'll move on to this uh, next puddle down there. Well, yeah. so I started over here where it was bubbling and then uh, you don't know which way to go. You ain't find nothing. I, I mean, you can find the wire that, that they planted, but there you go. Boom. Uh, fortunately, I went this way instead of the other way. And right off the bat, I mean, that thing's plugging away, just cutting through everything. But I think I got a little bit lucky in a way that, as you can see, the, the wire, yeah, that's their wire, you know and their ditch digger cut right through there but this is a uh, let me clean that up a little bit this is a T right here so I got lucky in a way that they didn't hit the T or this connection so this does look like an easy repair at least this location I gotta go find the other one but so this looks like you know no problem put one of those uh so down there that the hole followed up here most of the water was coming out uh, right around here so I'm gonna start digging right here Looks like the goodest place as any, and uh, see what I get to. But that being said, there, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's hopefully it's just these, whoop, just these two uh, 
two holes because over there is the uh, about a front step is the valves and the hoses go this way <laughs> to go out to the I got a backyard way out there so I know there's sprinklers around here somewhere and there's hoses that run that way and here this guy went Whoop. so I'm hoping nothing got hit there but we shall see because once I uh, once I find this and repair these two I'll of course you know the sprinklers pop up and everything's probably good but if if not another hole uh, might be down the way here I don't know let's, let's dig in here and see what happens well so finally found this one relatively quick it might be too dark in there to see but uh, so I was just thinking about I mean their wires right underneath this but you could see this uh, poly hose I don't know if you can see it or not but she cut right in two I mean you can uh, you know that ditch which is just blasting through everything and I was just thinking about that I'm like why wouldn't they ask me where my irrigation was but then I started thinking I gotta head to Home Depot and get some parts but I started thinking, yeah, I could probably point out where the sprinkler heads are, but how are you supposed to know where, you know, the poly pipe runs? You have no idea where it runs. I mean, I didn't know there was a T up there, and it looks like this one runs, you know, kind of this way over that way. And where do they come off of the, you know, your manifold? Who knows? So, and they're plastic. It's not like they could take a metal detector like the gas and water and electric and all that. So... I guess I could have called them and they probably would have, you know, come out and repaired these, but it is what it is. I don't mind doing it. It looks like pretty easy fixes if they had the parts, but so let me run and get the parts and see what kind of trouble I can get into and see if there's any more, uh, you know, breaks in the line because, like I said, he, he's gone, you know, with this ditch witch just mowing down stuff. <laughs> so, so, and I know for a fact that there's lines under here going to the back, so hopefully I get lucky, but. Also, let me go to Home Depot and get some parts. Yeah, so I just got back from Homer's place there. Unfortunately, you can't get a uh, one-foot section of poly, or poly, poly pipe there. Uh, you have, that's the cheapest I can find is a $35 roll. It's 100 feet, so what's that, 35 cents a foot? I mean, it's not bad, but it's the only thing I could do other than being a shyster and clipping a foot off and taking it back. <laughs> but uh, so, and this will come in handy for when I find other brakes, obviously, uh, it's good to have that bag of uh, blue blue connectors. They were uh, uh, a little different style than uh, what I'm used to. Maybe they've changed it, but they used to be like this, and I had some of these. These are kind of problematic in a way that once you get it on one end, trying to get the other end on, especially if you don't have a lot of room to work to put it on, it was problematic. But now, in this bag, I can see... Uh, you see that that got like a little twisty design. It's still barbed, but it looks like you could twist it on better. And I like to give you a little uh, little leverage to you know you'll see when I'm putting it on there. But sometimes that is problematic. And then of course stainless steel hose uh, clamps, and that's all it takes. So uh, I do have to clean up these roots, clip some of these roots out so I can see better. But the hose is in there, trust me, I'll get a little closer. And we'll pop this on. I wish I bought a an end stop just to plug the, the hose coming coming out from the uh, valve there just to see if there are any more leaks. But I didn't, so I'm going to have to repair both of these holes and then, then find out if there's leaks or not. So let's get to work here. Let me clean this, uh, clean this up and get that pipe more exposed. Uh, so <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do here is just cut this here, add a, uh, boom, add one of those, and then uh, cut this here, add an eye. so I'm going to basically add a little piece of hose because the, once you cut this here and here, it's just going to be too short, you know, the hose will only come up to here, you know, you can't, so you got to add a piece, that's why I had to get hose, so that's unfortunately $35 investment, but like I said, if this happens again, so I'm going to cut it about here. right through that sucker so anyways two nice clean uh, wax make sure you don't cut your new cable <laughs> uh, so now I should have went and got a got a hammer I'll see if these new type will go in a little easier I don't think they're screw type but it kind of looks like it is yeah 
Yeah, before you would have to hammer this thing on, trust me. It's no, uh, shoot, but now I can see with these before I get too, yeah, they're gonna come off the other way. Before you get too carried away, you gotta put your clamps on, but, yeah. Uh, with the old ones, yeah, these seem kind of a screw type for a while. Looks like they're gonna screw on, screw on a little bit, and then uh, catch these barbs, which is pretty cool. Um, but don't forget to put your clamps on, right? Ain't cool. Forget them. And you have to open it. It's not a big deal. These are, uh, you know, the worm cut type. You can open it up and get it on there. Same way. So, take two. Yeah, that's, I like these better. You don't have to hammer them in so far. They're just kind of screwing right in there. A little bit of friction. <clears throat> but I gotta tell you, way better than it was. So I do like these. Um, I would go right up to the... Uh, I'm losing leverage now. <clears throat> I should go get a rubber hammer and hammer that home. Just a little rubber on this one. It isn't like uh, those are threads that you're gonna goof up. They look like threads, but they're not. It's like way too many roots in a way. I might go get a hammer and finish that, but that will probably do right there. But I am gonna go, uh, every tool has a hammer end. Should go get my hammer. That's that's seated now. Uh, I won't tighten this up yet. So now I cut a piece already. And it's too long. So uh, the dilemma is, you know, picking this up. You know, so that's why I put it here, and I'm going to put the other one here. So when I when it comes time to pick this up, you know going to be a little bit flexible so before I cut uh, put that now well, let me let me put while I'm doing it I'll put one on this side now try to yeah 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 because I've worked with the other ones before, I could tell you these are, even though it looks problematic, they're easier for sure. But I am going to have to get a hammer because I got my hammer, so uh, tighten this clamp down. I'm letting this one loose for a bit. And I measured between here, between this uh, collar and this collar, six and three quarters. But from my experience, they always come up short. So I cut the pipe at seven inches and uh, I'm gonna fit this on. Uh, you want to be long here, not long, you you want to be accurate, but you see how this kind of has some play. And again, if you dug some more earth back, this is gonna be way easier. This is a little bit of a tight spot here, but I know it'll flex. Um, but if you're short, you're gonna be doing it over because uh, you definitely want to be over these burrs for sure and up against this collar. But anyways, so I did cut it at uh, seven inches from three. I measured three and, or six and three quarters. So, I know this side should go on decent. Oh. So, it looks a little long, but from my experience, even if it is a little long, I got, you know, plenty of room. So, I'm going to leave it there, and uh, don't forget to add some clamps while you're here. Nope. Yeah, one, two. Two clamps. One, two. Now, just a matter of picking a sucker up. Ah! And feeding it in there. Because it does have flexibility. And it might be just a hair long. And again, if I left myself some, uh... Twist this a little bit. Left myself some room. 
for the earth, I'd be much better off. There we go. All right. Even a quarter inch. I left myself a quarter inch uh, longer than I measured, and it's still not quite there. Oh, there we go. If we pushed it that way, see how now it's it's flush. That's where I want it. So, like I said, leave yourself some room. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. I'm going to bore you with that. So this is where that T is. Yeah, goes that. It goes this way on the ground. But these uh, these clamps. Holy crap! Look at that. Well, that's an issue. That's uh. That's an original clamp. So I'm going to have to see if I can get a clamp around that because that was probably leaking to begin with. But it doesn't appear like this T is broke or or uh, you know anything wrong with it other than it's funny they had double clamps here only one clamp there and when you know it doesn't clamp so I'll get a clamp around that but in the meantime I don't know how to get these things off because uh, I definitely don't have a tool for it so I'm just going to try to cut them off there's one uh, so I was thinking about you know this might not even be a video but you can't really blame the guy that Uh, that uh, you know did uh, did the job because here's the wire he's pulling right you know this is I, I've rented one of those ditch switches before it's like a big sewing machine you know and it's cutting through these little roots with with ease you hit a big root like I don't know if you can see this sucker back here let me see if I can show you this sucker back here pretty big root but it'll probably go right through that too without feeling it unless you get a like a big giant root so cutting through plastic Guy didn't know nothing, and maybe they don't ask you because, uh, just because, you know, like I said, who maps out this? He, even if you had it mapped out, what can you do? There's nothing you can do at this point. It's like, you know, you can't manually put the wire in the ground. I, I mean, I guess you could, but anyway, so I'm not going to blame him, but I don't know what I'm going to name the video as far as if it is going to be a video because I don't want to blame the guy. It's not like it's his fault. Watch me cut my new wire. <laughs> <coughs> Cut the wire in half. All right, so that's the old uh, kind of T. So I do have to get a new piece of pipe in here. So I'll cut it back and do the same thing with the blue blue fella there and plug it in. But um, and I do have another one of these T's, but I'm not digging all this out. And just because this is loose, I'll put another clamp on that. All right, so repaired both that I could see that were broke. Uh, again, I don't really care about this lawn, this part of the lawn. Uh, but I do need to fix it. Can't have, you know, water. Just making a cavern in the water. Let me see if I can uh, charge this system. Let's see what happens. Uh, so either sprinklers. Whoa. So either sprinklers are going to come up, or there's going to be a hole. So I see sprinklers, and. Uh, I don't really want to take the camera over there. We're going to have to inspect uh, the repairs we did, did, but I'm thinking, yeah, the repairs are good. So, let me turn that off. <laughs> and it turns out I'm screwed. Uh, so, those repairs came out good. That was one zone. Yeah, sprinklers came on. I just tried, uh, I don't know what, what one of mine here. So the next one, so I got to cut there, or, you know, I, I don't think there's a, yeah, you see I took the flags out thinking I was done, but that is definitely a cut in a line, because that's where it just came through. Huh. So I got another one, so let's see. Oh man, this guy's just wreaking havoc here. Um, that was two, let's turn that one, no, that was three. These are labeled, but so that was the original one. Got that solved. Number two, the sprinklers came up. Number three, they did not. So let's go to number four, which I don't know what. Let's just go to five because we can see it. Let's turn these on manually. Now, if we don't see sprinklers come up, we know there's a cut. I don't hear nothing. I don't know what 
five goes. Well, actually, I labeled them one time. Let's see. Backyard. Yeah, let's go take a pick. If there's no sprinklers back there, we got another cut. Well, actually, like I was saying, it explains why there's a lot of sand around here. It's probably way underground, but this guy probably had. Oh, there it is. Look at that bubbling. So that's number five. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just tried every other one. They're all cut. So one out of six. That's unbelievable. So, I'm thinking, just start digging, huh? <laughs> so, uh, I dug up there and then went this way and found it. And that's the pipe there, right there. But coming around this way, I kind of missed. And uh, it doesn't make sense. So, still looking for, uh, again, I've got four more to go. Well, at least four there's four zones not working but that's just the that's just the wire they ran you know so I guess I gotta energize this and see what this water's coming out so let's stand by see what happens fortunately the valves right here so let's try uh, number was it number three I didn't see that originally, so there, there's that one. I'm okay with that, cut completely in half. Uh, so that's one, and this is two. And now I have to find at least two more, but I am running out of time here. I do have to uh, call it a day. So I did get uh, <laughs> my first two repairs done, and uh, you know, combed it over, raked it over, put some grass seed. So I guess I have to take this up uh, after work tomorrow, maybe, or the next day, I don't know. But, uh, so I found two more. And obviously, obviously, that's the, uh, that's the new line. So obviously, they're all within, somewhere in here. Uh, but again, there's six zones. Only one zone wasn't affected, so there's five zones, although that one zone had two cuts. So, I do have at least four more to go. I found two. Stand by to stand by. Uh, like I said, I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't uh, deal with this any longer. I'm just uh, finding holes. Now I'm in a pickle where I wonder if I have to call my cable company and I don't know look for reimbursement or you know at least the question hey why didn't you ask me if I had irrigation I'm kinda on the fence on that one so anyways let me pick it up a little later yeah so there's a uh, number three repair and if you notice we got a little different clamps there I had to go back to Home Depot so I put them original ones back on or the ones that uh, you know go to poly pipe Oh, I got lucky with that. It's just a single splice. It was perfectly uh, cut even, right in two. This one uh, did require two, two, uh, uh, what do you call them things? Uh, conjunction joints there, whatever. <laughs> I'd have to look them up again. Uh, couplings, duh. Uh, so it required two couplings. And uh, I did buy those, those clamps at Home Depot and I they found instead you don't have to buy a whole roll uh, they do sell two feet sections that's not one of them I just because I had to roll but they do sell two feet sections for for a dollar twenty nine or some ridiculous cheap ass price and uh, I didn't see them at first but when I was looking at these clamps and uh, had bought these pliers they were right there next to it so these work pretty good let me show you just a squeeze deal just a squeeze deal. Now these don't come apart, so you, you're going to have to remember to put them on. And I'm putting two on each end, just because uh, that's the way the original one was. So you basically, they're like a tile, tile nippers. I'm sure you can use tile nippers, probably be the same. It's probably the same tool. <laughs> Ten bucks though. And I have a pair of tile nippers. I should go prepare them. So, <clears throat> squeeze it down. 
Do another one. So these are a little bit easier to work with as far as uh, <clears throat> you know, but uh, the worm gear ones, the regular, you know, you could take them back off. These you can't. You have to you have to break them off if you need to get back in there. But I don't plan on getting back in there. So let me tighten these up and uh, call this two more fixes. I'll turn the water back on and find out, uh, you know, where I'm at. <sighs> All right, that's this zone. Let me see one, two, three. Sprinkle heads there on the back side. Now there's a couple, a couple up here. One and two. So that one worked. Let's go see if there's a leak inside. I believe it's this one here. No water dripping. Bonus round. So, let's turn them off. Turn this one on. I don't know which one it is, but we'll find out. So, that one worked, but it must be one close by. I just turned on zone 5 and it's flooding this hole, which just a second ago was flying. So, I'm assuming uh, it must be further up this way. So, shit. So, turn off zone 5. We know that's not it. What's uh, off? That's off. I feel like that dry. So let's turn this one on. See if there's yet another one leaking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! It's not le It's leaking somewhere else. I gotta figure this out. All right, so. I'm in this couple bucks now, so uh, while this is pumping away, I'm pretty much thinking it's coming from up there because uh, when I first turned this on, the water was coming this way. But that was zone five, and uh, that's where the wire is. So you know, I don't know if it's created an underground channel where that wire is. It looks like it's a big ass hole there, and uh, comes out here, and it was filling this up because there's. <laughs> There's another avenue, so I'm curious. Yeah, just two, two, three feet down the boulevard, and there's one break. And then, uh, hey, look, I didn't have to take this piece of grass. Uh, there's about four, four feet from this one, and there's a break. So I had to dig the rest of this out. Uh. So that should be it. One, two, three, four five zones and I'm good to go let me do two more repairs yeah right, so a little better look at it but uh, that's the wire going underneath where they severed everything so I'm digging out a little bit further each way um, I almost got away with that one just being one little connector but it is it's cut at an angle and it's kind of crushed so I got to clean that up which is going to leave a little gap so I do have to put another section in same with this this is cut at an angle but this should go relatively easy and I, I got just enough parts left. <laughs> so I just cut this piece out. That was fine. So I'm cutting this piece out. I'm like, oh my god. I don't know if you can see that. I, I, I got to dig up more earth. Like way in there. See that's plugged with uh, mud. I can't have that going through the sprinklers. That's the three sections I cut out over there. All of them plugged. Completely plugged with mud. So I gotta keep going until I can get a clean spot because uh, that goes to the sprinkler heads. I'm not gonna, you know, force the, all that mud and sand into the sprinkler heads. I'll be digging out back for crying out loud. But anyways. This trench digging sucks, man. All these roots and stuff. So I got another, what, three, four feet down there and uh, found, like, l way less than it was. That pipe there is just solid caked. All these little guys are solid caked. And now it's about a quarter of sand in the pipe, you know, a quarter of the way filled. So at this point, I'm not going to go any further because everything is running downhill. I mean, eventually it's going to get better when it goes back uphill, but it doesn't go uphill for a long time. Keeps going downhill, downhill, down. In fact, everything's downhill. So, so what I did is uh, 
I just uh, kind of jerry-rigged a little uh, hose connection and put one of those clamps on the end there. And I'm going to uh, charge this thing up and push it through the sprinkler. If the sprinkler gets clogged, so be it. I'll go dig that up, right? Because this is a... Uh, that's getting ridiculous. Hopefully this... So I guess that's the first first sprinkler. Oh, that's weird. The first one came up over there. So I don't know if the sand's trying to work through it because these ain't uh, squirting like they should. Oh yeah, look at all that sand. <laughs> look at it. It's like dirt. <laughs> it's like rusty water. So hopefully it'll work out of there. And that's getting clearer. Alright, so everything's hooked up. I just turn the sprinklers on. I can hear them back there. Let's go take a peek. Uh, so by the way, I called Comcast. I mean Comcast. That's I used to have Comcast. I called Westfield Fiber, and because uh, that's, that's a new cable company, and uh, they didn't even question anything. I was like, yeah, just give us the receipts. Yeah, everything's working good now. And you can see that out there. They're, they're uh, they're flowing as they should be, so that's cool. So everything's back to normal. Uh, so they were like, yeah, just send us the receipts. <laughs> so it must happen all the time, I guess. I don't know. They had no questions about it. They didn't want a photo, nothing. Anyways, so uh, uh, let me backfill this right quick. And I got some, uh, plant some grass seed. And I'm pretty much done here. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to show a little picture of, I don't know, everything buttoned up. Maybe not, but anyways, if not, thanks for watching, yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> you know, if your cable guy does come and you're around, you might want to, and you have, obviously, if you have uh, underground sprinklers, you might want to say something. Say, hey, uh, slow down there. Slow your roll, Buster. we got to find out where these things are, otherwise you're going to be doing the same thing. And again, it's not that huge cost. It's, it's uh, well, a little bit of labor here, but... It's easy to do for sure. I mean, there's nothing to it. But anyways, I think that's all I got. Like I said.